Welcome back Roundtable and in this video we're going to show you how to take your FBX camera animation from Autodesk Maya to Unreal Sequencer tool coming up right after this. Hey guys, this is Cliff from Roundtable Studios and on this channel we produce animation videos and show you how you can make yours too. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So if you watched our last video, we took our environment from Unreal and got them to Maya. Now we need to take our camera from Maya over to Unreal as well. The great thing about this workflow is that when you import the environment from Unreal to your 3D program, your scene takes on the properties of the Unreal scene. So as long as you don't move your environment once it's imported, any camera and animation you do should automatically correlate and sync up back to Unreal. Now, you can animate the Unreal camera directly if you want to. That option is available to you. But if you're more comfortable with the Maya camera like I am, or if you need to coordinate the animation right along with the camera, here's how you bring it to Unreal. Now, we're using a different environment than the last video, but everything should match up the same. This is Infinity Blades Grassland, which is free in Unreal's Marketplace if you want to follow along. We're first going to create an animation and get it into position. If you're using Maya, we just have to adjust our far clip plane so we can see all of the environment. Just add a couple of zeros and we should be good. Let's get into a good position to get a good shot and set our keyframe, um, which we can do by either pressing the hotkey S or go to key, set key. Let's move to our last frame and set a key there. Now, we have our camera movement, but it's a little bit too fast, so we can definitely adjust this timing to make it a little more smooth. I think 120 would probably be good, and yeah, that's a way better ease of movement. Okay, so next up, I want to show you the camera and its movement, but I want to make it a little bit bigger by increasing its locator scale to at least 50. If you increase the scale, that may adjust the animation and it's really, really weird, but if you adjust it by the locator scale, it will just increase the size of the camera within the scene. Now you can see the actual camera movement from out here. In order to transfer this animation out, we need to bake the keys, so we need to highlight the translate and rotate attributes. Go to Edit, Keys, Bake Simulation option box, and let's reset the settings. The only thing we need to change here is the channels from All Cable to From Channel Box and hit Bake. Once finished baking, you will see that the camera has every frame keyframe while still maintaining the animation. To export, we go to File, Export, Reset Settings. We want to change the file type to FBX Export and then hit Export Selection. I'm going to save it as Camera Underscore Test. All right, so now switch over to Unreal and open our sequence tool by going to Cinematics, Create Master Sequence if you don't have one, or Sequence Master if you do. Once you have that sequencer open, hit the camera icon to create a blank camera, click on the camera act on the timeline, right click, import, and select your camera. We're going to get an option box here, which will give you the option to flip the axis, create another camera, or to reduce the amount of keys. I have the last one selected as I don't need another camera and definitely don't want my axis to be flipped. Once you import it, voila, the camera is done and you'll notice that once you play the animation, it matches up exactly the same way as it did in Maya. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if this is helpful. The next video on this series will be how to input a character animation to Unreal Sequencer. So subscribe if that's something you guys need and definitely share this video with anyone you think would benefit from. This is Cliff from Roundtable Studios and I'll see you guys in the next one.